Hey guys! So I forgot to do the intro when I was in the fitness gym, so I'm going to do it now. Um, but a lot of you have been asking me what exercises I do for strength. So this is what this video is about. I'm just going to show you the exercises that I do. Um, it's just upper body arm um, exercises. I haven't been doing any leg exercises lately. And then the other kind of strength exercises are core um, and campus boarding, which I've already shared with you on this channel so i hope you guys enjoyed the video um yeah don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you do and if you haven't subscribed don't forget to subscribe it will mean a lot and let's get started before starting the workout i usually warm up 10 to 15 minutes on the elliptic um, you can also do it on the bike or on the running machine anything works it's just to get my heart beating a bit faster and to get my whole body warm and then I head over to um, the pull-up bar in the dip area where I just like kind of warm up my arms and prepare them for the exercises that I'll be doing. You can also use some elastic bands and um, yeah, that's usually the warm-up that I do before starting the workout. So for my strength workout, I have, I usually do five exercises, which are weighted pull-ups, weighted dips, um, handstand push-ups, or like weighted shoulder press and bench press. And then I also do like the, t the butterfly and the TRX. And um, those are usually the five exercises that I do. And then um, I'm doing them for three reps at the moment. And yeah, that's, about it for my strength. Um, I do three rep, uh, three sets week one, four sets week two, five sets week three, and then back down to three sets when I'm on week four. And yeah, now I'll just show you a bit more in detail the exercises, and that's just my strength workout. Between each set, I approximately take three to five minutes, depending on how tired I feel and that I also take three to five minutes between each exercise too. Since I'm doing three reps, um, I choose the weight where I'm really close to like failing on my third rep. So for pull-ups, I'm at 34 kilos and that's the exercise I'm going to start with right now. When doing pull-ups, you want to focus on keeping your shoulders and core engaged and then when heading back down, keeping your arms a little bit bent. Okay, I could potentially do 36 kilos, but it did feel hard on the third one. And I do like making my third rep, even though it's like a bit of a struggle. So I'll stick to 34 at the moment. <laughs> If it gets hard on the third rep, you can help yourself as I do here by pushing a bit on the bar or you can ask someone to help you pull yourself up. So that's my pull-ups done. Um, now I head on to the dips. I do that for three reps and for the dips I use, I'm at 26 kilos for three reps. When doing dips, you also want to keep your shoulders and core engaged. Head down controlled until your arms make a 90 degree angle and then head back up. Dips 
is so much harder for me uh, personally, but I always feel like I can fight much more pushing on the dips than like pulling on the pull-ups. Like with the dips, the third one is always usually a struggle, but I always usually make it. I always usually make it. But for the pull-ups, like if I can't pull anymore, I can't pull. I gotta help myself with my feet, you know? I was very close to not making that last rep. Um, let's see how it goes on the last set. Yeah, it's gonna be hot. Dips done. Um, now I head over to handstand push-ups. You can also do shoulder press if you can't do handstand push-ups. I personally can't do like three handstand push-ups with touch my head to the ground. So I just like try to go as low as possible and then push up. And yeah, that for three sets. When doing handstand push-ups, the wider the arms, the easier it is. And you want to control yourself on the way down until your head touches the floor or to as low as you can. I just finished the handstand push-ups and now I head over to the bench press. For the bench press for three reps, I use either like 42 or 45 kilos, it really depends on the day. Um, and yeah, that for three reps. When doing bench press, you really want to keep like your whole body engaged and control when going down. Final exercise, um, I do the TRX butterfly and then throw my hands, arms forward and then bring them back into butterfly position and then back up. You'll see what I mean. And I do that for eight reps. And usually I do this exercise when I, at the same time as doing core, but at the moment I'm not doing too much core. Um, don't ask me why. <laughs> right, like, cause I don't really feel like it. And since I'm still in exam period, um, the first thing that goes is cool. <laughs> but um, yeah, so I usually do this exercise with like the arms because it really does work my core and lower back. And yeah, I enjoy the exercise. When doing this exercise, you really want to keep your shoulders, core and butt engaged and really focus on not arching your lower back. If you feel like you're arching your back, or it's too hard, you can raise the TRX to make it easier or just don't go as low in the exercise.
that's it for my strength workout. Very basic exercises, um, but I hope it gave you some ideas of exercises that you could try. And if you do try it out, let me know how it goes. Um, I'd love to hear it. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you in a week.